Alrighty, in the bottom left-hand corner, the gentleman we were just talking about with some very cool Widow Mine drops. He is red, he is Taryn. His name is Polt, his opponent. In the top right-hand corner of the map from Team Prime, currently down in this set. He needs to fight his way back to victory and get himself uh, even in this once more. It is Creator. That's right. So Creator has been playing well. Just the problem is, is that it's not matching up against Pult's style all that well. Um, I mean, this is, he's playing certainly good enough to beat almost any Terran player out there, but uh, in even some players that are arguably better than Pult's, but the way Pult is approaching the, stretching his opponents, multitasking, dropping all over the place, causing these little uh, uh, multi-pronged harassments while he moves in the bulk of his force to take out Nexuses and things like that, has been really yeah. clever. And very, very uh, effective as well against Creator. So, got to see what Creator does here to adjust his play style in order to deal with this. He's been proven to be extremely vulnerable to drops at the same time. I mean, pulled that last... Okay, so Creator hasn't been putting observers on the perimeter of, of his base. That's one of the things yes. that we can point out. Um, we really... Yeah, I don't know that we've seen it once yet uh, that it's worked. Maybe uh -huh. he's had it, but he hasn't actually spotted a dropship coming in with it. I so. like this, though. Creator is like, uh, Pult's gone for the, the Marine Reaper expand every game, right? Um, even if he's followed it up a little bit differently, that's that's kind of been his go-to. Um, and Creator's just saying, screw it, I'm not even going to look for it this time. Uh, I know it's coming, and here's how I'm going to prepare for it. And he's actually going to do something similar to what we saw last game, at least to start. Double gas before Cybernetics core, maybe get that Mothership core out nice and early again, uh, and expand behind that. It is certainly a very risky strategy, though. I do wonder if we're going to uh, see any Oracle openings out of Creator. This is something that Protosses have been using to incredibly great effect. Yeah. You can kill as many as 20 workers and Marines with them. Uh, it, it can be it's, it's so insanely good. And especially against Reaper openings. I mean, you know, you got two Marines. An Oracle will shred through two Marines. I don't even think it loses all of its shield. It takes five. I Marines to take yeah. down an Oracle, it's uh, astronomically high against And that's with them all openings. starting to fire at the, at the, same at the time. right time at the beginning. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, I, I I would love to see a Stargate opening at some point out of Creator, but, you know, it is good to, uh, of course, use what you're best at. So, we'll have oh, to see yeah, here for sure. Cyber Course finishing. And uh, Pylon goes up in the top left-hand corner. Not enough to lock in that SCV or anything. Um, and we see a Stalker following up the Zealot here, but no indication as to any sort of later tech. And of course, the gas income is really high for Creator at the moment. He's got three workers on one of the assimilators, two on the other, so could certainly have the flexibility to move into something here in just a second. SCV going to get out right before 4.15 when those Stalkers do often spawn, and Ooh. there is our Mothership Core. And you see, we actually had a switch up of things for Creator. Creator had his uh, had probes going and had his uh, sentry actually queued up to go next, mm -hmm. and completely decides to switch things up, goes for the Mothership Core and switches over to a robotics facility as soon as that SCV leaves. All right, now if the Reaper can get in view of the Nexus, we'll see that that Mothership Core is, well, actually now out on the field. Robo on the way as well for our uh, Protoss player. Yeah. Now, don't forget this. Uh, oh, see what a Reaper. You got to get out of there quick. Mothership Core chasing that thing down. And that was actually a sub five minute Mothership Core, by the way. I want to point that out the way that yeah, was Chrono boosted. Point. It was what, like a 458, something along those lines. Um, really fast. So it's out quick, uh, forces the Reaper away. Pult's actually going back to what he did in game two. He decides to go for the Marine Reaper expand. Tech Lab researches stem right away, follows it up with two more barracks. So this is actually the identical opening we saw in game number two, where, if you remember, he actually lost to a four gate. All right, so Reaper is going to hop onto the low ground now, make its way out of there after getting a certain amount of valuable scouting information. Of course, did see that Robo as he flew right by it. Stim is halfway done at this point for Pult. He's actually been opening Stim first very, very often. We yes. saw it. I think we've seen it two games now. Um, wow. And, it's uh, turned up pretty well. Yeah, and Creator's actually going three-gate Robo with uh, with Mothership Core off of one base. This is a huge resource sink for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it works, awesome. He'll be able to pressure his opponent maybe with a couple. This is almost like a, uh, a one-base Immortal Gateway all-in. Yeah, he absolutely has to get damage in with this because Pult is going to be way too economically far ahead. Already up to 27 workers with two command centers, and he's still making workers, whereas Creator is Creator cuts. no probes. He, he has the exact amount, so he has uh, he has 12 workers on, or I'm sorry, he has 16 workers on his minerals. He has uh, six that are sitting on gas over here. So uh, Yeah, you see workers 17 out of 24, but the thing is, 
until you hit 16 or 17-ish workers. Uh, after that, you get diminishing returns on yes. each probe you make. So it's, he's going for like maximum efficiency here on one base. All right, so Pult finally loses his Reaper, and he has got to defend for his life. He kind of knows it, too. As we can see, there's three bunkers up. He's got a lot of bio units. Unfortunately, no Widow Mines this go around, as his factory is only just now starting. Uh, but if he can hold this, he's going to okay. be in a great spot. Creator is completely all in, though. Yeah, three bunkers with Stim. I mean, you're, you know, it did get broken last time when he had Stim, but he got all his units caught. This was, of course, an Ohana, what we're talking about. In this situation, he's got three bunkers completed, all the units inside, SCVs in the front. I do not see this being broken by Creator. Okay, well, we'll see if he has the control for it. Mothership Core leading the charge, immediately losing about half of its shields. And uh, we'll see what it can do from here on out. SCP's already surrounding the bunkers pretty well. Time Warp goes on the middle bunker here as the outside ones are actually being taken down fairly quickly. The SCP's have done enough of a job of holding this um, that the bio units have been plugging away at Creator's units over and over again. He could lose an immortal uh, in the middle, or his second immortal in the middle of all of this, too. And simple gateway units aren't going to be enough to break this two bunker position. All right, Sentry Warp ins behind this, or one one Sentry, actually, only one. Uh, we'll see what kind of force fields he can lay down, but this is going to be extremely difficult for Creator to break through. Will the SCVs be enough to hold on to these bunkers? All right. Well, I mean, I think they are. I mean, at this point, uh, without trying to be too bleak again for Creator, this is a great position for Pult to be in right now. He's he's sitting on two base economy. He can keep some of these workers off. That doesn't bother him. He's d he's calling down mules two at a time in addition to this really defensive position he has set up. So that really doesn't bother him. Picking off a supply depot on the high ground that will momentarily supply block our uh, most Terran. But I don't think Bolt is too concerned. I was saying uh, next round of warp ins and creator may go for an attack. He could wait for two until supply depots finish, but actually they're about to. So best time for him to attack would be uh, right here. And he's going to go for it. So Pult now has to defend at these bunkers once again. And he did a nice job actually getting some repair on there for a while. So much so that Creator lost the vast majority of his forces on the way out. Second bunker does fall, but there's nothing left for Creator. That's GG. Pult is up 3-1. to one. And playing incredibly well. Uh, Creator, I, I mean, he went for a big one base play there. Pult had fast stim and three bunkers in place, which is more than enough to hold almost any one base play, unless it includes a warp prism. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, unless there was some way of him getting around those forces, which I'm a little bit, in retrospect, surprised he didn't make a warp prism because that, uh, especially on this map where he could just ferry units up from that low ground to high ground on yeah. the uh, uh, on Cloud Kingdom, seems like it would have actually worked out pretty well for him. So, anyway, guys, we're going to run to a commercial break. When we get back, it's going to be time for game number five. Things looking a little bit bleak for Creator. Only two games uh, left for Pult, uh, if... Uh, uh, or two games left for him to win, and he will actually take the entire set. So we're going to run to that commercial break and see if Creator can start coming back right here.